This is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com. Now we're standing um, by the city well that's at 10th and Greenwood. This is going to be one of the locations starting on Monday, October 30th, that the city will be required to inject chlorine into the water system. And this is being done because coliform uh, was discovered in the city system twice in a 12 month period. That was in December of 2016 and then just now this month. Because of some more stringent state regulations, the city is being required to do this chlorination. Now they say there will be four sites that they will be injecting this besides here at Greenwood. It will be at, at Miller Park, at the well at Minx Park, and then also at a well that's located at Nobes in Delaware. Now the reason the locations are important is because the um, effects of the chlorine being odor, um, taste and maybe coloration uh, will be the most obvious in places closer to the injection sites. So for example, people that live here in the area of 10th and Greenwood will probably be able to smell it more, taste it more, and possibly see more of a change in color. Now they say that the color um, that will come with the water um, should be clear. Uh, there might be some cloudiness, maybe some reddish brown color. And that could be flushed out by letting your water run. However, if that color persists and it does not go away, uh, you're not supposed to use it and you need to call the city um, if you can't flush it out of your own system within your house. They say that the water will be safe if it's, if it's clear and it just comes with the chlorine smell. However, they do say that people with very specific health concerns, such as those on dialysis or those who might be very sensitive to different kinds of chemicals, should probably consult their physicians uh, before consuming the water. Now again, the chlorination is going to take place for a 30-day period, and if anybody has any questions, they're encouraged to call the city. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.